welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're doing some more Forza Horizon 5 science. You might have seen last week here on the channel, I uploaded a video featuring Forza Horizon 5's fastest cars. We jumped into things like this, the Ferrari 599, the Mosler, the Koenigsegg Jesko, the Jaguar D-Type, and so on. Today, though, I was wondering, how about Forza Horizon 5 fastest drag cars? You want a fun fact about Forza Horizon 5? We actually have all of these drag strips scattered all throughout the map. None of them are actually a quarter mile. You can see what I mean. 0.6 of a mile. What are we doing? I don't know if Forza is actually going to add a quarter mile drag strip at some point in the future. If they do, we'll definitely come come back and do this video again, but for now, I guess we're gonna be finding the fastest 0.6 of a mile drag car. Somebody in chat's like, I like to live my life three-fifths of a mile at a time. <laughs> Twitch chat, name a car, I will purchase it if I don't already have it, and we'll give it a go, and we'll start building a leaderboard. Somebody says, why don't I start with the BAC Mono? That is a very good car. In Forza Horizon 4, it was an awesome drag racing car. I'm not the best drag racing tuner in the world, so I'm gonna download a whole bunch of tunes. This tune here, this is from Chris. Chris actually went through and made a whole bunch of really, really good drag tunes that I'm gonna be using in today's video. Chris is saying I should be running manual with clutch for all of these tunes, so we'll do that. All right, let's go, BAC Mono. I'm obviously gonna have to learn how these cars get off the line and stuff. It's gonna take me a couple of attempts to properly get some decent times in, but let's see. So this is actually a really, really... Are you kidding me? Is the screen always gonna shrink down like that? So I can't see what speed I'm doing across the line. On our first attempt, a 13.6, we can definitely go faster than that. There is still so much stuff that I need to get used to in Forza Horizon 5. Away we go. Nice early shifts there, up to fourth. Make it fifth. There we go. That was way better this time. Now leave it in fifth. Keep it going right up to the line. That should be a lot faster. That's more like it. A 13.4 for the BAC Mono. We'll give it one more attempt. Attempt number three, BAC Mono. Let's see what you can do. Come on. Early shift up to third, up to fourth. There we go. That thing is so quick. The speed or the amount of time that it takes to get to 200 miles an hour is just mind-blowing. After our three runs, the best time I was able to do a 13.4. We'll chuck that onto the leaderboard and leave it there. Would it really be Forza Horizon Drag Racing if we didn't test out the Dodge Dart? For those of you who don't know, this was one of the fastest drag cars in Forza Horizon 3. It was so OP, they actually nerfed it for Forza Horizon 4. We'll see what it can do in Horizon 5. I don't expect the Dodge Dart to actually be that fast in this game, but let's see what it does. We're still running manual with clutch. Away we go off the line. Early shift out of one. Up to two. Up to three. We're absolutely zooming in this thing. 200 miles an hour. We're flying. Jeez. 246 miles an hour across the line. A 13 dead? Maybe the Forza Horizon 3 days are back for this thing. Hello? Get a 12 second time. That was nice. That was nice. Keep going. This is a 12. This is a 12. Keep going. Keep going. That might be faster. That totally might be faster. Come on. Are you kidding me? A 13.013? That thing is so quick, though. I never would have expected that. I thought it was going to be way too big, way too heavy. Well played. Fire keeps saying in Twitch chat that I should try this thing, the Ford Supervan. The Ford Supervan is a Ford Transit with a Formula One engine in it. You would never really imagine that a... Ford Transit would be a good drag car, but apparently it is. We're gonna need to do a couple of attempts with this thing, obviously. Uh, was that a 12 second time? A 12.8 and I bottled the start like that? I need to run away from the guy next to me. 
That was fast. That was so fast. That's insane. The Myers Max is gone back there. You hold it in fourth gear and you're gone. You're not even doing that crazy with speed across the line. Only 242. But that launch, it gets a wheelie off the line. A 12.7. You are first place on our leaderboard for right now. I see some people in Twitch chat asking for the Volkswagen Beetle Forza Edition. Yes. It's not every day you get a car with wheelie bars in Horizon, so we've definitely got to test that. This thing's just born to go drag racing. We have to try this. This tune has 900 horsepower, 600 foot-pounds of torque, yeah, let's try that. Volkswagen Beetle Forza Edition with wheelie bars. Let's see what we got. The Myers Manx is doing a wheelie in the background again. He's gone, I think. It feels pretty good off the line, this thing. It definitely gets like a nice little squat, pops a little bit of a wheelie. Let's see the time. Is it gonna take, whoa, slowest car so far? Come on, Volkswagen Beetle. I'll let you rev out first gear a little bit, up to two, make it three, four. It feels quick, but it's just not. It kind of dies after 200 miles an hour. That's where we're losing a lot of speed. Only 230 miles an hour across the line. Compared to the, uh, compared to the Ford Supervan, it's never gonna be that great. How about this thing up next? The Lotus Avaya, one of the all electric hypercars in Forza Horizon 5. It has nearly 2,000 horsepower. I think this might do pretty well. Chris already says, be prepared for disappointment. Chris says, it does extremely well in the top end, so don't let launch get your hopes down, okay? The one gear all electric hypercar against some other hypercars. Terribly slow off the line, tuned to reach the three-fifths of a mile. There's the speed, 200, 220, two, I can't tell. That didn't feel that bad. I feel like that hit 240 miles an hour. It's just, uh, no, never mind. The Lotus of Aya sucks. I'm not even going to bother doing a second attempt because that was just embarrassing. I think I just wasted 2.5 million credits on a Lotus of Aya. Twitch chat says, okay, if we're talking about electric cars, why don't I use the Rimac? I mean, the Rimac was okay for top speed. So let's see what it can do here. It's also a near 2000 horsepower all electric hypercar. What's nice about the Rimac is the Rimac actually has two gears. So we're gonna get a crazy launch off the line and we should also have the top speed from the second gear. We'll see if it actually works though. I've got very high expectations for the Rimac. Let's go see what we got. We're going up against some other awesome hypercars. There's that launch off the line, shifting at 110 miles an hour. That's insane off the line, 210, 220, 40, 250, 260 miles an hour. Whoa. Whoa! So the Rimac goes burr. That is insane. A 12.4. And I think I could get an even better launch. I can definitely clean up that acceleration off the line. That launch just gets me. There we go. Shift it up. I've, I've almost got to shift up earlier than I expect because it kind of, kind of hesitates to shift up to second gear. But there we go again. Absolutely bombing it down the straight. 262 miles an hour, a 12.41. I think we can go even quicker. We'll do one more try. I, I gotta nail that shift out of this thing. Shift early. There we go. I, I don't know if that'll be better. It didn't hesitate as much as it did before, but it's all gonna come down to the speed at the end. Did the same thing again. Let's see. Damn, another 12.41. That is so quick, though. What an absolute beast the Rimac is. That is unreal speed and super consistent. Twitch chat is already nominating the Jaguar Barn Find car. Apparently, I've heard rumors that it has ridiculous amounts of grip. I actually haven't driven this thing just yet, so I don't really know what to expect. I mean, bone stock, it's no slouch at all. 5.3 seconds, 0 to 300 kilometers an hour. I'll try this tune. I don't really know what to expect. Let's give it a go. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect with this thing. It has a rear wing for some reason, which I wasn't really expecting. 
It's also got very short gear ratios. Uh... That is not a drag tune. I need a different one. I don't know if this is a better drag setup. I'll give it a go. Come on, Jag. I hope you have a better drag setup this time around. Very early out of first gear. Up to two. Make it three. That is so stable. That is unreal stable. Go. 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 The... That actually felt slower. Um, we're just gonna move on. But that is a very interesting vehicle. I think that could be really good for racing. I see some people in Twitch chat asking for the Dodge Demon. I love that choice. For those of you who don't know, the Dodge Demon and the Dodge Hellcat, actually, were both, like, super slow in Forza Horizon 4. I have no idea why. Hopefully, though, they're a little bit better here. I don't really know what to expect from the Dodge Demon. I don't have very high expectations. I'd be happy with anything less than 14 seconds for this, if I'm honest. Dodge Demon, do not disappoint me. I, I just, I really want you to not be garbage. The gear ratios are a bit sus, that's for sure. Um, remember when I said the sub 14 seconds? Boy, was I optimistic. All right, somebody wants me to try the Mosler. Apparently did a 12.5 second time. We'll give that a go. I love a good Mosler. Mosler, do not let me down. I love a good Mosler. One of my favorite cars from Horizon 4. Go, shift it through the gear. Rocket ship. Rocket ship. I think you can see why I like this thing. That felt quick. That felt really quick. Come on. A 12.7 on our first attempt. Okay. Okay, that's better. Better. If I'm slower now, I'm actually gonna just freak out because that, that's gotta be my best run. Let's see. Still a 12.7. We cleaned up the shifts as much as I could. I think that's as fast as the Mosler's gonna go. It feels like there's not much more it has to give. For those of you who don't know, this was also one of Forza Horizon 4's fastest drag cars. The thing was an absolute monster in the game. Let's see what it can do here. Even if it's not fast, boy does it sound cool. I think you can see why I like this thing so much. That's so sick. Please do not burst into flames, okay? Away we go. Very long first gear. I'll need to clean up that launch on our next attempt, but I'll learn where all of the gear shift points are. We're absolutely destroying the AI. Cross the line at 245 miles an hour. That is a quick car. A 12.9 right out of the gates. That is sick. Last attempt with you. I'm gonna try letting you rev out in first gear. I don't know if that's actually gonna help. Maybe? Maybe I'm kind of letting all of the gears go all the way up to their max. We'll see if we cross the line any faster than we did before. Same thing. All right, so the limit for the TVR, 12.9. If we are on the topic of old Forza Horizon games, we definitely need to try out this thing, McLaren F1 GT. Let's go. I mean, the McLaren F1 GT was absolutely insane before. McLaren F1, can you take down the Rimac? It pops a wheelie off the line. Really short first gear. Shift it all the way through. We're dominating the AI, come on. Up to fifth, it's fast. It's definitely fast but not that fast, apparently. 13.7. I think the developers nerfed the McLaren F1. That felt better. A lot better that time. That's gotta definitely be 13.5, maybe? Come on, bring it to the line. I mean, I called it. I'm not happy that I called it. But McLaren F1, you definitely got nerfed. How about this thing? The BMW X5M Forza Edition. 
Again, for those of you who don't know, after some upgrades, you can toss in nearly 2,000 horsepower into this. And what's super crazy about it is the amount of grip that this thing has. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but let's give it a go. BMW X5M. I can't imagine having an SUV that's actually going to take down all ele all electric hyper... It's actually dumb. It's actually ridiculously quick. 255 miles an hour? This is a car my mom would drive. It shouldn't be that fast. That felt good. That felt really good. That's fast. That is so fast. That was a way better start. I'm about to beat a Rimac. Gonzo. 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 Was that the fastest one? That might have been the fastest one. Stop getting the same time over and over. Time for one more car. Koenigsegg Jesko. Whoa, it does a wheelie. Whoa, that speed. That speed is insane. It make This car is on another level. This... I can't believe I nearly forgot about this car. Okay, with some better shifting and not crashing into the AI... That's definitely cleaner off the line that time. Come on, Jesco. Come on, Jesco. Obliterating the AI. 274 miles an hour across the drag strip line. How is it only getting a 12.6? After all of that, are we saying the winner of this is the Rimac? Let's give it a go again, though, and see if I can go better. What's crazy about the Rimac is how easy it is to drive this thing. Because it's only two gears, you just need to nail, like, getting off the line and that one gear shift. If you can, you're gone. 262 across the line. And it demolishes instantly. I think with one or two more attempts, we can do better and get into a 12.3. Come on. is the fastest drag car in Forza Horizon 5. At least for now. Who knows what cars are going to get added into the future. If anything does beat this, let me know in the comments down below, and I will definitely make another video about it. That was absolutely insane.